Hello everybody. You know what it is. It's your boy Dennis James. Um, I just want to show you a quick uh, example of how you should analyze in order for you to uh, to understand uh, support and resistance. Né? Um, because you might find that you want to take a trade and you're in a position where you don't know uh, what is uh, the perfect trade uh based on your analysis or based on your charts né? what you need to do you need to identify your support and resistance guys uh i'm analyzing nasdaq 100 since well is the most traded uh in dice uh currently so you first identify your resistance or you can okay the best way to do this first identify your floor because when you're building a house, obviously you can't build a house by starting with the roof. Né? Uh, you have to <laughs> start with the floor. Né? Obviously, I'll start on the daily time frame. The daily time frame will show me the highest high. I've already identified that uh, for you. So you can uh, be able to see that this is where the market is right now, currently. Uh, in terms of uh, resistant, uh, this is a resistant area. Yes, you can put that as a resistant. Because this is where the market uh, played and round and turned, you know. And this is where the market bounced from. Né? Then here, we're looking for something like this. This is our highest point. Yeah. This is our highest point. Then, when you have uh, found this, this is your support, this is your resistance. Né? Uh, this is your support here. Yeah. This is your resistance. So, you need to identify these things in order for you to identify whether the market is high or is it low so that you make a decision based on the position of the market. Remember in Forex, we sell high and buy low. So here is a, uh, this is in what, uh, it's a, the market is in the uptrend right now, but here you can see that you've identified your position and this is a higher time frame. Then you switch down uh, to a smaller time frame. Smaller time frame. When you're here at the smaller time frame, so what you do, uh, guys, I remember I'm only sharing my journey. Me, I'm only sharing what I always, uh, I always do when I'm analyzing. I'm not saying, uh, you what you do, it's 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 wrong. But you can at least learn a little bit from this, and then you can also apply it to your trading system. It will help you to also, you know, you can develop a lot of things from learning from others. Learning is never a bad thing, unless you are learning a bad thing. <laughs> so um, back to the charts. This is your four-hour chart. You can see that you have. Uh, an uptrend if you can look at this trend it's a very 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 perfect example of an uptrend you see yeah here this is what you call a trend line né? you are drawing a trend line based on where the market was playing uh whenever the market comes and bounce on this line it goes up it comes and bounce on this line uh it goes up so because your line your 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 trend is on the highest of the highest. So you're expecting the market to at least pull down uh, and come to this area. Uh, the market, you're expecting it to at least pull down from here to come here so that it can go up. However, if the market comes here and it breaks to the downside, then we know that that is not our trade. We expecting the market to come and hit this area so that it can go up. Né? Uh, this is what we'll do. Okay, fine. Um, back at it, guys. Uh, back at it. 
uh i just wanna i don't i'm I, i'm not gonna be long on this video guys uh i just don't wanna bore you with a lot of information that are useless i'm just uh showing you how you should uh how you can identify uh support and resistance in order for you guys to be able to execute a trade based on your own analysis these things of uh taking signal guys uh taking signals it's not a bad thing you know signals help you to you know confirm your trade you know uh even a signal when you take it you take a signal don't just take a signal and eat it because sometimes uh taking food and eating them you're not you don't know whether what what uh, ingredients were used to cook those food uh that food so if you just eat everything you 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 you, you are fed you are just going to you know have a big stomach and then you won't be able to you know <laughs> do the things that are uh, supposed to be done in terms of your health uh, is concerned. Now, uh, coming back again, you see, uh, you see uh, the market, as you can see, is on an uptrend, uh, very, very uptrend, but it's at the what? The highest high. Because now, Remember, this is our what? This is our resistance. This is an area where the market hit previously. So when you see an action like this, ne? most of the time, uh, you will find that you see an action like this. Let me just put another support here so that you guys uh, know that we also have another area here. You see? Yeah. This is another area here. This is another area here. This area. Now, what are we expecting? Né? We're expecting the market to at least come and touch here before it can go up. It will also be creating a completion of a W of an M and a W. So um, the market always uh, moves like this. But however, if it comes and breaks here, we know this is our last resistance. If it breaks out of the uh, 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 this area, it's going to touch here, then it goes down. So you, as a forex trader, what do you do? When the market is on the highest uh, point where it uh, rejected previously, so you see you have one, uh, you have two. The third one, you know, there are high chances that the market can still come down to here. Then from here to here, you can take your money. You can take your money. You just put your lot size, maybe uh, your stop loss, maybe above this, uh, you know, highest high. Or you can still bring this thing like this. Um, yeah. I, I I I think I was right. You put your stop loss somewhere here. Uh, if your stop loss get hit, then you know you are out. You accept your losses, and then you move on. Now, guys, uh, here you see you can sell from here to here. You scalp. Yeah, we 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 only. Uh, I'm only talking to people who are scalping. I'm not talking to people who are trading long term. You you take profit from here to here you are you are enough you're enough your your plate is full né? and moving on to another time frame then you come to the uh 30 minutes time frame to confirm if you are indeed correct with your analysis that this analysis perhaps will come down based on the previous actions. Remember, every time when we trade, we look for repeatable patterns that happened in the previous event so that we can be able to predict what will happen in the future. Ne? Uh, you can see again here, the market is in the resistant area and it's rejecting from the upside. So we're expecting a down movement from that area so that we can have what a very good movement from here to here we can take beautiful pips so it's 117 to here that's like 100 pips man that's a lot man that's a lot you can make a lot of money from that if you are trading as a account um with a 3000 za account i won't i won't lie to you uh if you want to make money in forex guys you need to 
Yes, I know there are people who will tell you, hey, do not risk what you can't afford. You can, you, you, hey, stop loss, protect your profit. Let me tell you something. There's no way you're going to make it if you do not risk. I'm not saying over trade or over risk or something. You need to know well, how many pips, uh, how much does this certain pips give you with this certain uh, lot size. You need to work it out. You'll figure it out. Ne? Uh, for an example, with the lot size 0.01, the Nasdaq rate it gives you 150. So meaning with the lot size 0 0.02 with 10 ticks, it gives you something like 300. So using that, it will also help you to know uh, how what type of uh, 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 how many pips are you going to take in that trade. So that's why I say from here to here, 100 pips is a lot, man. 100 pips is a lot, man. Because 100 pips got 0 0.01, we're looking at something like 1,500. So got 0 0.02, we're looking at something like how much? That's like three grand. So meaning got 0 0.04, we're looking at something like how much? It's like three, six grand from here to here. If you put 0 0.04 lot size uh, with uh, Nasdaq 100, you're going to get 6,000. You get what I'm saying? Uh, 6,000 za to those who are trading with za with dollar, uh, you'll do the calculations, ne? And then we go down to 15 minutes chat as well. 15 minutes chat just to confirm as well if we're on the right path. Yes, we are on the right path. It's going to be a sell based on the previous briefs on the last candlesticks that we are looking at. Um, in the graph remember we only anticipating and looking at this movement that is coming from an uptrend we're looking at something like this obviously the market will not always go the way you predicted it can't go straight obviously maybe it will you know a little bit consolidate until it comes here consolidate go back a little bit consolidate go back a little bit consolidate go back a little bit you know Keep on coming down until it reaches here. Then you close. Then you wait for the market to go up again. If it's going to up, go up again. If it's going to continue to the downside, you let it ride until it reaches here. Uh, it reaches this place. When it reaches that place, what do you do as a trader? You do not want to convince yourself, confuse yourself. All you do is what? Take your money, then you're out. You get what I'm saying? And we also have a three minutes chat where the three minutes chat, just look at the market, how it's doing. You see, the market always also will move in M and W. You see here, this is a perfect W here. And then comes here, more like an M, but it kicks a lot of people out. So, yeah. That's what it's all about, guys. Uh, you'll never go wrong once you teach yourself to identify those areas like that. You see? Now we're talking about a what? A cell. We're talking about a what? A cell. I told somebody that this is going to be a cell. So, yeah. It's from your boy, Dennis James. Uh, mastermind traders, I'm out.